Uh, all right. Uh, before we close the shop here, let's just quickly talk about the Con Smythe market. I'm going to flip it over to you. What uh, What is your short list looking like for these three teams? I mean, I think with the Rangers, personally, I, I, at this point, I wouldn't say I'd be playing this. But if you're a New York guy and you want to play the Rangers at this point, I think this is the most black and white example we're going to see where you just play Shesterkin. And if somehow, like at the start of this series, he was still up or he was at plus 1,000. And compared to the New York, I think we're six plus 650 to win. And I think if you weren't going to play that, I think it's just, it's such an obvious one that if they win, it's got to be him even. And if he goes out somehow, I don't think they're winning. So it's just, there's almost no way where I can see it going. So I think that's an obvious one. If you wanted to get in on New York, I think Colorado is pretty tough. We actually talked about it at the start of the playoff, how it could be really split between McKinnon and McCarr. And I think right now, obviously, McCarr is leading him, but it's still at the point where I think it'd be hard to differentiate which guy could come out of it in the cup final. And then I wouldn't touch either of their goalies. And then the third one, I would personally always play Vasilevsky looking towards Tampa. I do think he's got a big enough edge that he's going to be able to hold off Kucherov, who's probably sneaking in there, and Hedman. And especially the way the next two games, I think, in this series, two or three games versus New York can go, they'll probably boost his numbers even more. It could be kind of close to those final two games versus Toronto and Florida. And I do think he's kind of already the front runner there. So if I were to get in on Tampa right now, I think the way to play them would definitely be to back Vasilevsky to win the con smite. Yeah, I'm with you there. Uh, I do think if if I had to pick a Colorado player, it would be McCarr. It just sounds like um, people are kind of, you, when you watch the broadcast, it sounds like people are already kind of anointing him. Um, and if you listen to like podcasts and stuff and it's the media who vote on this. So it does sound like everyone's kind of angling for McCarr to win it uh, already. So uh, I would go with McCarr, uh, but like you said, uh, that is the, the, the avalanche are a little bit dicier situation. Th- th- those would be bets. I'd wait to see what the matchup's like, and maybe you can get a little bit of a better number on, on uh, McCarr or McKinnon going into it. And, you know, if, if, if you wanted to like get really, really sneaky, the one, long shot who and he won't win and he's going to be triple digits he should be like 150 to one at this point um that i maybe would target and like have a little sprinkle on his Corey perry because he's near the i think he's at the top uh in terms of goals then kucherov just caught him uh for the lightning he's at five if he like has just if he just goes bonkers in in the stanley cup final and the lightning win uh it's it's the media vote on it. It's a great story. He's literally the only long shot I would even give a second of thought to uh, among both of those teams. Um.